Hey guys, today I'll give you my list for the top 10 superheroes in Marvel and DC. Right, number 10, Nightwing. Kicking off our list is the first Robin to leave Batman's side and become a superhero in his own right. Dick Grayson left Robin and Gotham City behind and moved to Bloodhaven and became his own superhero named Nightwing. <clears throat> Whilst under Batman's tutelage, he learned many things. Uh, cr he learned criminal science, fighting styles, all sorts of things that he needed to become a crime fighter that he then passed on to Nightwing. Number nine. Blade. Now we move into Marvel. Blade is one of the lesser known Marvel characters, but he is definitely one of the biggest badasses there is. Blade is a half vampire, half human vampire hunter who has many forms of fighting style. He uses an array of weapons, all made from silver silver bullets, silver stakes, silver, silver swords and obviously Silver Blades. Being portrayed by Wesley Snipes in from the 90s all the way to 2004, he portrayed him perfectly. Number 8, Black Panther. Another one from Marvel. Black Panther is one of the best fighters in all of Marvel and is one of the wealthiest characters in all of comic books. Being the king of Wakanda, his tribe in Africa, he is also the protector as he holds the mantle of Black Panther. But with his incredible knowledge of multiple forms of science and his unique fighting abilities, he actually has the powers, the agility, the speed, the strength of a panther itself. Itself. Because of special herbs that are grinded up that he drinks give him the ability to have their power. Number seven, Daredevil. Now we move into Hell's Kitchen, where their protector, the blind superhero Daredevil, runs the streets at night as a blind red ninja, but during the day is just a blind lawyer. After he was blinded as a child by an accident with a chemical truck, he learnt how to see the world with his other senses as well. But I have to assume that he does miss his eyes anyway. But being blind doesn't technically mean he isn't able to see. He's able to hear someone's heartbeat, he's able to detect movements, and he's even gone up against several members of the Hand, which is a ninja group. And if you ask me, he is the best fighter in Marvel since his disability takes his sight away, but it doesn't leave him defenseless. Number six, Ghost Rider. There are multiple different Ghost Riders from Johnny Blaze, Denny Catch, uh, etc, etc. But I'm talking Ghost Rider in general. I don't mind which version it is. I like the character itself. But Johnny Blaze has to be my favourite though. A stunt rider who is possessed by the demon Zarathos, who is actually an angel at first. But with a hell cycle and a flaming skull, and his Hellfire chain, he is definitely one of the biggest badasses in Marvel Comics. And to be fair, he uses his penance stare to burn the souls of his victims. But pretty much any vehicle he touches, he can turn it into a held out version of itself. So his Hell Cycle, his Hell Charger, a Hell Digger, a Hell Zeppelin. 
Number five, Batman. Now we come into DC again. If it's the top ten superheroes in Marvel and DC, Batman has to be in there somewhere. Losing his parents at a young age, Bruce Wayne devoted the rest of his life to waging war on all criminals of Gotham City. Not only that, but he has gone against some of the biggest heavy hitters in DC. He's even gone up against Darkseid at one point. Even though he has no powers, he is definitely one of the most OP characters in DC. Being portrayed by several different actors from Adam West, Michael Keaton, George Clooney, Christian Bale, etc. etc. We still love Batman not just for who he is, but for how he is portrayed. Number four, Green Arrow. In DC again, we have the Emerald Archer who is a billionaire named Oliver Queen. After being shipwrecked on an island for years, he returned home with only one goal, to save his city from the poisonous criminals that corrupted it. He, learnt, he taught himself archery on the island he was stranded on in order to catch food. But not only that, he is one of the best fighters in DC as well. He's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman a few times as well, and Nightwing. But, he doesn't just have normal pointy arrows, he has grappling arrows, the uh, boxing glove arrow, that's my favourite. He has gas arrows as well. They're all pretty cool. Number three. Captain America. Now we're back into Marvel. After being injected with super soldier ser serum, Steve Rogers had become the... One of the star-spangled man with a plan. <laughs> Quite from First Avenger, but... <clears throat> with his shield made from vibranium, he... Has fighting styles that not a lot of people can match. He is one of the best fighters, and also one of the best leaders in Marvel as well. As he leads the Avengers. After we've seen him portrayed by Chris Evans, we, can't, we couldn't wish for anyone better. Because Chris Evans plays him perfectly. But after being frozen in ice for 70 years, he reawakens to lead the Avengers in the 21st century. Number two, Wolverine. In Marvel, again, we have gone from vibranium to adamantium, which is the hardest metal in the X-Men universe. Wolverine was a is a mutant that has a healing factor, increased senses, and claws that come out of his knuckles. Before they were metal, they were actually made of bone. But when he got his entire skeleton laced with adamantium, they were also they also covered his claws as well. I think I can safely say he is such a badass, especially being portrayed by Hugh Jackman for an outstanding 17 years. And he plays him perfectly. Seriously, he just brings every ounce of badassness that Wolverine has and just brings it to the full end. <clears throat> Alright, no honourable mention, so let's get right into number one. Number one, The Flash. And we end with a DC character. There have been several different Flash from Jay Garrick, Barry Allen, Wally West, Bart Allen, but I'm going to be sticking with Barry Allen, who is my favourite one. Barry Allen was a CSI detective when he was struck by lightning and doused in chemicals. He woke up and discovered that he had become the fastest man alive. Not only can he run fast, he can also vibrate through solid objects, he can throw lightning, he can create after images of himself, he is an OP character. Being portrayed by Grant Gustin in the TV series, who I think is awesome, and then being portrayed by Ezra Miller in Justice League. I thought he was funny. 
but that's about it, guys. <clears throat> that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Bef be sure to like and subscribe and comment what you think down below. And don't forget, next week I'll be giving you another top 10 list as well as another comic book origin story. Well, see you guys later.